All right, Pisces, let's talk about August and what's going on here for you. I'm talking about the highlights. It's not going to be every nook and cranny of the astrology of August. As you know, I'm picking what I feel is most important for each sign. And for you, we're going to start with the Mercury retrograde. Mercury begins its retrograde August 5th in the sign of Virgo, which is your partnership sector. And from August 5th to the 14th, Mercury is going to be retrograde in the sign of Virgo, having you reevaluate a partnership dynamic in some way. This could be business. This could be personal. Could be both. Maybe on, on a positive note, maybe you're, you have a, a client-based business and you get a bunch of clients from the past who come back and want to do business with you again. Maybe you have a business partnership that you feel like it's gone south and the two of you have different goals and priorities and you're going to dissolve the relationship or you're going to have some uncomfortable conversations during this time period. If it's applying to your personal relationship, you might be having some disagreements or let's say there's a decision that you and your spouse or partner have needed to make together, but you just kept kicking the can down the road or, you know, sweeping this under the rug because you don't want to deal with it. Well, now you're going to have to, and it's going to, you're going to have to hash it out and you will. So Mercury then goes retrograde from the 14th until the 28th into your sixth house of health and work. And this is a time where you may be revising assignments and finding a lot of errors. You may have some miscommunication with colleagues, coworkers, people on your team. So if you have to collaborate on any kind of work project, it might not be that easy during this time period. This is a really good time in, in health to go and get a second opinion on something. If you're not getting a correct diagnosis or you're feeling just not right about whatever's going on with your health and whoever's treating you, good time to go get a second opinion. The main event that I really want to talk to you about, though, occurs between August 14th and August 16th. Mars and Jupiter are going to make a conjunction in Gemini on the 14th, and this is occurring at the bottom of your chart in your home and family sector. By itself, this is actually really positive energy where Mars is stimulating the goodness of Jupiter to expand, to blow up even more, but that would be the case if it was acting alone. It's not, and this is where it becomes a bit of a different storyline because on the 16th, Mars, which is in your fourth house, then makes a square to Saturn in your seventh house of partnership. And this, I'm sorry, no, to Saturn in your sign. I apologize. Mars is making a square to Saturn in your sign in Pisces. And so there is this family conflict that is likely to be happening in an expanded way because you are putting the brakes on something. You, and this, I, I think this is interesting actually, because what, I, what I'm feeling is happening for you is you are setting a boundary and you're not typically someone who is good with boundaries or someone who likes boundaries. It's usually uncomfortable for you to set those firm boundaries because you are someone who gives until you, you're, you're bleeding out basically. But with Saturn in your sign these days, it's a different story. You're learning about boundaries. You're learning how to make sure that people don't mistake your kindness for weakness. And I think there's a situation happening in your home life with a relative, with a living situation where you are finally like standing up for yourself in some way. You're standing tall in your integrity and you're saying no, no more to this. This is not happening. I am not on board. And the reaction from your family member or the family situation, because they're going to be so shocked that you're actually saying no, they're going to be like, what? Uh, okay, we're going to fight now. And that's the energy that I'm seeing. And you're going to be dealing with that. And it's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy because we teach people how to treat us. And for a really long time, you might have had a relationship situation in your family where you've taught people that it's okay to treat you a certain way. And now it's time for you to change that and you're ready to change that, but they have to adjust to that change. And it's their problem, to be honest, okay? You are not doing anything wrong. I actually commend you for whatever this is, but it's gonna be difficult. Stand your ground, Pisces. You got this, okay? Let me know in the comments what this is really all about for you, how this works out. I'm very curious. Um, 
when you get through it, when you get to the other side, you're going to be really proud of yourself. And I'm proud of you too. All right. Talk to you soon.